occasion where it looked like he busted out the driver. Big swing, and he's able to put it through for the Hawaii point. Cross court swing, snoring absolutely is vital to this Hawaii offense if they're going to be successful at all. He plays that opposite position, hits out of all six rotations. Prior to that kill, Hawaii was flatlining it from a hitting percentage standpoint. Now .056, and there is a service error. Siki Zarkovich. Fourth team service error. Max Wexung now out onto the floor for Hawaii. Evans diving pass by Cheap. Here's Olsen from the outside position. Jace Olsen playing in his 24th match, getting his 71st kill of the season, 6'7", junior transfer from Penn State. Boy, Charlie Wade unafraid to roll in, roll in the subs. J.P. Marks already in the bench, Jace Olsen in. Joby Ramos out, Mac Max Wexen in. Gauchos will go outside. This is Austin Kinji, and he's able to go up over the block and put it down for the point. Austin Kinji had seven kills on 14 attempts, four aces last night in the win against Hawaii. He was really good from the service line last night. Four aces, had five errors, but you know, he really disrupted Hawaii's passing. Here's Olsen getting another try at it. Goes off the block and out. So an efficient couple of sequences there for Jace Olsen. And when you talk about the Kinji brothers, Austin is the younger one. Chad, the libero, is the older brother. He's a junior. Austin is a sophomore. But they have that beach volleyball experience. And you can see it by the way they handle themselves on the court, the way they serve, receive, the way they dig up back there in the defensive positions. Light able to go through the block and down. This is just an exhibition right now for UC Santa Barbara. They're playing very smoothly right now. And credit them for playing smoothly with a setter that has only played, what, 18 sets this year? Coker's, Coker's doing a nice job. Here he is serving it down the line. And he missed it wide. So a point for the Warriors. When you're up 21-13, you can throw away one or two. Olsen now back there to serve it up for Hawaii. Five aces on the season. High toss. Sharp serve. Here's Light. Locked. Roofed. It was Nick West combining forces with Brooks the door to shut the door on Light. Evan Light, such an important part of this team's offense. Rick McLaughlin calls him the heart and soul of the team for a lot of reasons. Olsen goes to the other corner now. Good pass by Kinji. Middle set to Thompson. Went along with it. All of a sudden, Hawaii within a handful. Timeout taken by Gaucho head coach Rick McLaughlin. A comeback in the making. Well. Find the perfect gift for every occasion at Big Island Candies. Visit them at their flagship in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or click BigIslandCandies.com to view their entire collection and place your order today. I guess you could call those the cheap seats. Those are the supporters, family, and friends for Matthew Cheap, the lone senior being honored at the conclusion of tonight's match. And we are now amid a 4-0 Hawaii run as they have crept their way back into this. Down by eight just moments ago, Chris. Moments, uh, the momentum definitely shifted to the team in white, that's for sure. And Santa Barbara does not like that. Even if they could win set two, they don't like how many points they're giving away to Hawaii right now. Good serve streak here by Olsen. Middle set goes to Thompson, and he missed it wide to the far side. Hawaii within three. Now a substitution as Ryan Thompson comes out. In goes last night's starter at that position, Jake Stahl, 6'6", sophomore. Jace Olsen trying to keep it going. Keeps it in. Good pass by Chad Kinji. Light big swing, and he fires it down the seam. Not sure how Light got that pass the block. The block was well formed. Brooks Snor turned around and asked the back row, where did that go? I thought I had him wired. Dialed in, blocked. Not to happen. Austin Kinji to serve. To the dead point, Hawaii. Getting back to Evan Light. He is shining bright. Six kills on nine swings, two errors. He's hitting 444. 
Firmly gets only two kills a set and hits around oh, 200, 211 is his average for the year. Nick West handled by Kinji. Here's Light again, this time hit it fat, sent it long, no touch at the net. Point Warriors, and now a two point set. A seven to one run for Hawaii. It is imperative to get this serve in. West does. Almost mishandled by Kinji Light with the soft hit. West is there. Chance for the Warriors. Sador off the fingertips of the block. Saved by Kinji over the net. The set by Wexum. Zarkovic. Off the touch and down point. Warriors and looky here. Do you, do you believe this comeback? I thought the Warriors were down and out, but they're not saying die. Zarkovic able to fire it past the block. A timeout taken by Gaucho's head coach, Rick McLaughlin. And yeah, it took a while for Hawaii to even pull out of the driveway in this match. But once they did, I mean, they have had it going here over the last stretch. Or as your father would say, they didn't hear the alarm clock. <laughs> the bus hadn't arrived yet. He's got about four or five words yeah. for teams that have slow starts. But in, in any case, Rick McLaughlin, I think he sees that his team hears footsteps right now, and that's dangerous. Yeah, that rear view mirror. As the Warriors have stormed back into this first set. All right, let's take a look at the Jack Fact tonight. The origin of the volleyball spike, new offensive of play was introduced in the Philippines in 1916. A high trajectory pass struck by another player, set and kill, in other words. A new attack was called the Bomba. And the attacker was called a Bombarino. How about that for a jack bat? <laughs> oh, we have some Bombarinos in this match right here. Let's send it over to Ryan Calais. Ryan. Hey, thanks, Colonel. Well, during that timeout, Coach McLaughlin talking to his team saying, we have to cut back on our errors. The reason why they got that lead is because they played low in the era of volleyball. They want to get back to that. And for Hawaii, they're doing some interesting things on the defensive end. Harrison Phelps is actually playing middle back, so they're moving their middle back diggers, Jace Ocean and Zeke Zarkovic, to the left back position. So Charlie Wade really tinkering with not only his players, but also their, de their defensive stance. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Biggest lead for UCSB was 17-9. Hawaii now within one. Middle set goes to Stahl, and nobody there to challenge him. That's a point for the Gauchos. It is 23, so 21. Warriors just guessed wrong as to where they thought the set would go that time. They did not think Jake Stahl would get the rally ending spike there. It is Stahl back to serve. Taking his sweet time. Now the toss, just gets it over the net. Zarkovic has to hit it left-handed. Here's Light. Kept alive for a moment by Matthew Cheap, but it finds its way to the Terraflex. Point Gauchos, and they have set point here in the first. Timeout taken by Charlie Wade and the Warriors. Seven kills now for Evan Light on 12 swings. He's doing to Hawaii what uh, Evans did last night, seven kills in one set. That's hard to do. You get seven kills a set, you're going to lead the country in kills per set. Take a look at the mid Petroleum leaderboard now. Oh, we have a little break in the action. MPSF individual blocks. Blocks per set statistics. Dylan Davis for UC Santa Barbara. He is number two in the league. 1.42 blocks per set. No surprise there. Dylan Davis has been a great blocker in this league for four years. He's one of the two seniors that will be graduating from the Stan Sheriff Center tonight, along with Matthew Chief. That's right. And this has traditionally been an MPSF league that rewards teams with experience. A team like Hawaii, which happens to be the youngest team in the MPSF this year, rarely able to make it deep into the postseason or contend through the regular season standings. So take case in point. 2011 for UC Santa Barbara, where Dylan Davis, who we just mentioned, was the only non-senior starter on that team that made it all the way to the national championship match, losing to Ohio State in five. And now he's playing on a team where he's one of only two seniors. Go figure. So we got some young pup diaper dandies out here on both sides of the court. Hence, you'll see a lot of unfortunate.
first errors and some mistakes that are that the more experienced players would not be making. So Stahl, the computer science major, he plays the piano in his spare time. In his spare time, he does some programming as well, computer yeah. programming. Looking to bust out a finale right here on set point. by Olsen. Set goes to Sador, just over the block, kept alive by Light. Chance now for the Gauchos to end it. Evans does. Miles Evans with his fifth kill of the first set. Close the book on that one. 25-21, UC Santa Barbara. So for the second straight night, Hawaii goes down 0-1 and finds themselves having to play from behind. It's out of, as we said, all six rotations, and he really gets the job done for the Gauchos, quite the team leader. Yeah, we're seeing the evidence as to why head coach Rick McLaughlin put him into the starting rotation in front of Matt Marsh, a 6'8 sophomore, who, through 16 matches this season, led the team in kills, led the team in kills per set, and was absolutely posting some phenomenal numbers. But McLaughlin still with the wherewithal to say, you know what, Evan Light, I see what you can bring. Go out there and do it. He brings some, some of those things that are the intangibles. The spirit, the leadership, the communication skills. Marsh is a little bit quieter, and he will learn, and he is going to yeah. be a great player in this league, but Rick McLaughlin said, maybe not yet, not now. But you have to respect the chutzpah of a head coach to replace who, to this point, is your statistically best hitter and with he, a guy like Evan Light. And he's 6'8", 220. And Light is 6'4", 205. And, you know, so he just, Marsh is just more physically imposing, but McLaughlin saw all those other intangibles, and Light has not let go of that starting nod. You see Big West baseball score from Les Murakami Stadium. Hawaii also going up against Santa Barbara, trailing 4-2 in the bottom of the fourth. We'll keep you posted. Also a Rainbow Wahine softball score against UC Davis in Big West action. Top third, Hawaii up 4-2. Jace Olsen will be on the floor to start this second set. Joby Ramos back in at setter. Nick West also in the starting rotation here. The serve by Andrew Coker. Also go to West in the middle. And West able to make it happen. And Hawaii gets point number one in set number two. Ooh, a bit of a risky set there. That fast third one. Quick set. Ball's only about three feet above the net the whole time. And the timing is absolutely has to be impeccable. Two kills on three attempts for West. He sends it into play. Here's a light tight to the net. It got blocked, but it went to the antenna. So a point for UCSB. Oh, I love Nick West's hybrid serve. I thought he was going to get a lift out of it off the, off the uh, passer, but it did not happen. There's the tool job off of Brooks Sador into the antenna. Austin Kinji, the serve, passed by Cheap. Opposite set for Sador, and he got roofed. Blocked by Evans and Stahl, and that one hung in the air for a moment. Nobody for the Warriors able to get under it. It was actually, I believe it was Matthew Chief, was he was going to the other side to cover somebody else. Actually, he was playing back left then and was stuck in the back left. Chief popping that serve into the air. Here's Zarkovich. Pass the block and down. Well, if I'm a blocker against Zarkovich, it's, it's got to be frustrating because no matter where you put your hands, he finds a way to tool them. If you got your hands up high, he'll hit a ball even higher. If they're too high, he'll bring it down low and hit it in your forearms. He'll find seams in the block. He's just so crafty. Tops on the team and kills and kills per set coming into this match. Been an MPSF player twice this year. Here's Evans, Miles Evans, able to make it work once again. He now has Five kills on eight attacks. Evan likes playing against Hawaii in what was Hawaii's season finale last year in Santa Barbara. He actually went for 21 kills, had 14 last night, and here he has it going again. And Dylan Davis had a blocks against Hawaii last year as well. So the two seniors love playing, as you say, against Hawaii. Chance for the Gauchos. The set goes to Evans, took something off of it. Averill got a piece of it, but it finds its way down on the Hawaii side of the net. 